are you? Come on in. Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hoarder's Heart. This video is part of the Come On In series and this is for celebrating Easter. Easter is coming up very soon and I am having Easter dinner in this house. Now, the point of me starting this Come On In series was because as I was decluttering and cleaning out the spaces, I was still so internally terrified of having people over. It didn't matter if I had cleaned up the spaces. I still felt uneasy when someone was in my home. And that's because I realized that for my entire life, my nervous system was conditioned to be scared, terrified, and afraid if somebody was in my space because of my hoarding behaviors. I was so afraid of the judgment and I couldn't mentally process it, so I would suppress it. But because I've had a lifetime reactions of being scared of that, it still carried on to today. So I really wanted to change this subconscious behavior so that my nervous system could register that I am still safe if I have people in my home. Now for today, we're going to be focusing in the kitchen because we're going to be cooking for Easter dinner and also modifying my ADHD behaviors because that tends to contribute to the messiness too. And I've tried many different things and I'm going to be explaining the ADHD modifications I have been making that really have helped me. Now my favorite little ADHD gadget that's in the kitchen is this little magnet on the dishwasher because it lets me know if it's clean or dirty inside. And honestly, you don't have to be ADHD to have this really help you. It's just, I'm so forgetful that I will literally forget if I ran the dishwasher. So any type of clear sign really helps me. Another thing that's really helped me is my ADHD mantra. And that is, don't put it down, put it away. With my brain, it's always 20 thoughts ahead of the present time that you're in. And sometimes my body will subconsciously jump ahead because I feel so behind. That's why I will stop in the middle of a chore, jump to the next task so I don't forget to do it. But by the time I start that, I'm already another 20 steps ahead. I feel like I'm kind of constantly chasing my tail. So that's why I say to myself, don't put it down, put it away. So that I am consciously completing the task at that moment. And by doing this on a daily basis, I'm starting to program it to be a subconscious habit as well. Now, with our ADHD brains, we tend to lack dopamine. That's why when it comes to mundane tasks, we have a hard time keeping focus and our mind will start to jump. But we also have a superpower. And that superpower is our ability to hyper-focus. My hyper-focus is what helped me successfully have YouTube videos each and every week because that dopamine is pumping. But when it came to mundane chores and cleaning up, I had to trick my brain into hyper-focus, which meant that I would listen to an audiobook or a topic that I was currently having a hyper fixation on. It could be a certain song and I will have that song on repeat like 30 times because it's holding my attention, it's pumping dopamine, it's a part of that hyper fixation at the moment. So now that my mind is in hyper focus, my brain is getting the dopamine that it's desperately seeking. So now I can stay focused without my mind jumping around. And sometimes I can stay focused for hours when I am in this hyper focus state. And everyone who has ADHD, I want you to know this truly is a superpower that you can use to reach your goals. That's how I've grown this whole YouTube family, continually putting videos twice a week because I'm so passionate about it and I can stay laser focused from beginning 
to end. Next, we're going to go to these hot spots. Now, this right here is actually like hubby's little corner. He's very visual, just like I am. We are both butterflies. So I'm just going to be rearranging his stuff. Now, I also want to add that I am ADHD with hoarding disorder. So as I'm strengthening my mantra of don't put it down, put it away, everything in my house doesn't still have a home because I'm still decluttering through everything. I'm still downsizing. I still have too much stuff in a 1400 square foot home. So this is continuing growth, decluttering, creating new visual homes because now I understand what works. I was able to keep this clean. We decluttered this back in January and it's worked because everything had a clear labeled home. And as we continue to downsize, this will be easier and easier to keep these spaces clean. And we're not gonna be too hard on ourselves. We're going to give ourselves grace. This is a process and honestly, Everybody is different. My ADHD and hoarding behaviors is gonna look a little different than somebody else with the same diagnosis as me. So that's why it's very important for us to try new things, to see what works for us. That's why I love looking at other people's ideas and I give them a whirl. And if they work, wonderful, and they don't, that's okay because it wasn't catered to me and my past experiences. Another thing that helped me extremely was figuring out which organizational style I am. And from Clutterbug, I am a butterfly who is someone is very visual. Of course, I'm ADHD. I am going to be more successful in putting it away if there are less steps to completing that task. And this year, we are transitioning my home into that butterfly organizational style because I love visual abundance. Of course, I am recovering in hoarding disorder. That part of me will never go away. But what I can do is change my behaviors and my habits so that my family and myself can live in a more tidier, functional home, which means putting in easy, fast organizational systems like clear bins and hooks but especially labels. I need labels on every bin to have a visual reminder of what category goes into that bin. Another thing that really helps butterflies is open shelves and using that vertical space on your walls because it is very easy for me, ADHD hoarding, to put stuff on all surfaces, but that also included the floor. So having that vertical shelving helps prevent all that clutter from the floor and finding a home on that vertical visual wall. And as I look at this cleared off space, I would really like to create this into a coffee tea bar in the future because that's gonna be something else that I'm going to love to do is when I have guests over, I can offer them a fresh cup of coffee or tea. And something else that has helped me immensely is each night taking 15 minutes to put things back in their homes in case we missed it because the floor was a baseline for me. I always had stuff on the floor, but since we've cleaned and decluttered and starting to create homes, I don't want that to be a baseline for me anymore. So by taking those 15 minutes each night just to reset different rooms, that has helped me immensely in the maintaining of my home. And now Miss Pepper is so happy to show you that the kitchen is cleaned, decluttered, and ready for Easter. We have been consistently changing a lifelong behavior of hoarding and not completing tasks from ADHD by becoming more self-aware, tweaking areas in improvement, taking baby steps in each of these categories so that it becomes safe, normal, 
a new habit and easier for us to become successful. And we're now going to apply those same steps into having people over for Easter dinner, reconditioning my nervous system that I am still safe, I am still loved. If I have people over, I'm going to have people over more than just the holidays. That's how I'm going to defeat this fear by continuously inviting people over, facing that fear and feeling safe and confident that they are enjoying themselves and they're not judging my messes because they truly do love me and my family, which they already do. It's more in my mind that I'm fearing that judgment. And my hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to declutter and clean something in your home today too.